Just because they're wrong doesn't mean you shouldn't be hearing the information because they're acting on that information. If they believe you don't give a damn just because you're shy and they say, and you don't know that they don't think you give a damn, then you can't fix it. Even if you're shy and somebody thinks you don't give a damn, if they don't tell you that they don't give a damn, that they don't think you give a damn, then you can't say, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm just shy. I'm just shy. It's difficult for me to have these kind of conversations. If you don't hear the truth, you can't break through your struggles and challenges. And then the fourth element of who's got your back formula is who is giving you butt-kicking accountability. Damn it, you said you were going to have that conversation with your boss and you haven't. Damn it, you said you were going to go to that thing and you haven't. Damn it, you said who's going to hold you accountable, keep your feet to the fire, and not let you fail. Those are the people that have your back. Intimacy, generosity, candor, and accountability. That's my son. I got him when he was 12. It's a very difficult pregnancy. Um, <laughs> got him when he was 12, foster boy. He's from Long Beach. Um, and that's him today. That look in, on the left, that little boy is saying, you are not going to hurt me like the 21 other homes I was in before I came to you. 21 homes. I get shivers thinking about what that boy's gone through. And we're still dealing with it, even though that's him on the right. And the evolution of that young man is amazing. I still deal with that reptilian brain, which is what every one of you has. Every one of you has a reptilian brain, which is the fight-flight me mechanism of your life. That brain that's saying, you're unsafe. That brain that when you walk into that big deal, actually sud subtly self-sabotages you because you don't think you deserve it. Keeps you away from the people that are actually the people that you need to embrace in this world to have the kind of success you want. That reptilian brain that sees tribal them and you're running around as a tribe of one is you're your only us. We're all tribal beings and all I'm trying to do in this world is unleash the very DNA nature of every person in this room. You want to be in a tribe. You want to have your people. You want to have a group of people that won't let you fail and you don't because you are a tribe of one and you're afraid that everybody else is a tribe of them. Or you have pockets of it. I got this click, I got that click. And the reality is we've got to be realizing that we can be as vulnerable and as humble and as open to invite the people of the world in with us. And as I say to my boy, prejudice is going to hold you back. The prejudgment that you have that other people won't accept you is going to hold you back. Now he thought I was, you thought I was going to the race side. He doesn't care about that. His prejudice is he doesn't have parents and therefore he'll never fit in. All we want is for him to see us as his parents. And it's right there in front of him and he still pushes it away for fear he's going to get hurt after all these years. How many of you can understand that young boy's mindset and have your own little elements of it? Amen. We all do. We all do. Coaching is very rare and difficult these days. Um, and it's very, what you have to recognize is that the old comfort of knowing what your job was every day is gone. Any given day you walk in, your world of work is nothing more than goals you have and a bunch of people you got to work with to get them there. Think about that for a second. The world of work is outcomes that you have to achieve and a network of people that you're going to have to work with to get there. That, by the way, is your team. And every goal you have, you got a different team. Now, I was with a young lady the other day from a bank, and I said to her, I said, how's your team? And she's like, oh, they're, they're struggling. I was like, tell me what you mean. She said, well, I go into this one meeting, and two, you know, myself and two of my folks are in there, and we got three people who are really critical of the project, and two people that didn't even show up. 